In this episode, we reveal a paint scheme. <laughs> Welcome once again to another Cobramatic episode of the Throne of Angels video blog. As always, I am your host, Mr. Derek Osborne, here to show you a world in miniature. Well, I guess the jersey reveals the paint scheme for the Palamites, right? That's, the, I mean, it just doesn't get any easier than that for you guys. So, I'm not even going to talk about it. As you can see behind me, bare shelves, uh, packing continues, right? House is sold. Last day here is the 27th which means I've got like three or maybe four episodes, three, four, three or four episodes that will be filmed here. And then there might be a break uh, based off of how long it gets, or how long it takes me to get set up in a new location. We will see. <laughs> so my, my schedule may get thrown all to the wind and yeah, things may just be different. Uh, but we'll see, right? I'll do my best to maintain and keep things the way they should be. I promise no moving videos. You're not gonna see me loading a U-Haul truck or the movers loading a moving van. It's just not gonna happen. But a uh, quick bit today, because I didn't get a ton of painting done. I did however get everybody base coated and um, you know, quick uh, overspray highlight. Plus I got one guy very specific to uh, the paint scheme, essentially close to what I would consider um, done, right? So reds, blacks, I didn't do any metallics yet. Metallics always come at the end. Uh, for me, I'm one of those guys that doesn't do metallics until everything else is completely and utterly done for the most part. So. Uh, I guess we're just going to jump right in, have a quick look at what's going on, and then we'll throw down with uh, the almighty wrap in what's coming next. So, let's jump right to it, shall we? Cobra! <laughs> oh man, I missed the Joes. Growing up, watching the Joes, man, it was a thing for me. So obviously, uh, you're looking at a decal sheet of silver, Crimson Guard, Cobra symbols. These are all scaled to fit the chest pieces and the shield bubbles of the subjugator. So decals ready to roll, right? Sometimes you gotta do decals because I am not about to hand paint Crimson Guard Cobra symbols on the chest of these guys. So, yeah, I mean, I can show you the, the guys that don't have any of the black on them, but it's kind of pointless. Realistically, we've got, like I said, I did uh, three paint, three coats of paint, actually. I did the black with the Zenithal highlight, as I normally do. So you can still see a lot of these guys have black and some white on them in places. But I hit them with, initially, Freak Flex Dried Blood. This is one of my favorite paint lines. I love the Freak Flex, Freak Flex, Freak Flex paint line. Dry blood, then hit them with the Ripper Red, and then finally, um, I don't have it actually here. It's in my other box, but it is the War Paint Air Dragon Red, but it is the same color, 100% match. So Dragon Red was the final highlight on these guys. And then I started out with Captain Johnny, or Captain Bob, or Captain, who the hell knows what the hell his name is. Anyways, as you can see, he has been blocked out in regards to where we will see colors for him. Now, I will hit the red uh, once again in a higher highlight, but I will also do some silvers for um, various parts of their armor, right? Shoulder pads, more than likely, are going to get silver. They're probably going to get some um, chest uh, highlights in there with that big ass cobra symbol. But anyways, that really is all I got to show you guys. <laughs> I mean, cause, yay, red, right? Woo! -hoo! We got a whole bunch of red dudes. The enforcers, obviously, down here in the front. Subjugators in the back. Not a huge deal in regards to the work in progress. But again, we do have the setup 
and the base laid for what work is going to be done. So, decals printed, um, base laid down, base colors, base reds, I should say, laid down, and then obviously I've got to do blacks on everything, followed by one more red highlight, and I'll probably use Wrath, which is um, kind of a red orange, so you can see the difference there. Um, I don't remember what color this is in the standard paint line, but it is one of the colors that I really enjoy. I actually really like the other's paint set from the Army Painter. It's got a lot of really good solid colors in it, so Wrath will probably be what it gets, uh, what that final highlight is. So with that, let's hit that wrap. Oh boy, and that wrap! So, uh, as you can see, like I said, I got all the primary paint colors down on, well, I'm, it's really hard to do primary paint colors when it's <laughs> all red, but obviously on the test model we saw where I'm going to put blacks, and then obviously, uh, I said obviously twice, didn't I? Damn it, oh, stop doing that. Uh, also, we saw the um, decal sheet for the chest symbol. So, uh, for those of you who may ask where did I get the cool ass jersey, uh, 80stees.com, I'll throw the link down below in the comments section. And then, you know, you guys can check it out. Jersey number 85, Crimson Guard on the back. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. I'm happy with it. Um, Kevin is the guy's name who uh, owns the company, and he's got a lot of really cool licensed t-shirts. So if you don't want one of these, go check it out. He's got other Joe stuff and plenty of other licenses. Um, so get yourself something officially licensed and uh, sport some of your favorites. But anyways, so yes, the Crimson Palonites are on the table, and clearly a work in progress. With that, uh, this room will probably be pretty close to empty next episode, right? So the goal is to have this room completely packed by the 15th, with the exception of the things that I'm painting, right? I'll have essentially a small painting kit um, with the paints that I'm going to be using. My brush is obviously my wet palette, um, but for the most part, everything else will be packed up and in boxes. So with that, Quick and dirty today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as always, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week. In this episode, we look at some empty shells. <laughs> Cobra! <laughs> so, obviously I printed out a water slide transfer sheet of uh, blah, 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 blah.